what's up YouTube it's the big kahuna back again with another video and I like to give a shout out to master Kai and Carl Randall hope I'm saying your name right but anyway on to today's video and I just wanted to talk about some of the business practices of some of these developing gaming companies and some of these you know companies like Microsoft and Sony how when they're developing a system and they're trying to keep it secret because they know if they if the rumor well you know basically there's always rumors but when people are asking them hey I, I hear there's a new console coming out or in the works they either say I can't confirm that or they just straight out deny it and say no that we're not working on anything we're committed to the console that we have out now but meanwhile in secret they're actually working on these consoles now is it kind of a, a shitty thing to do to tell people that no you're not working on these consoles I would say no it's not only because now somebody like me if I hear they're working on a new console and it's confirmed then I'm not buying nothing for the the net last gen console I'm not gonna buy any more games um, if there's a chance that I have to buy another system or I was looking into buying another system I'm not gonna buy the system even though I had already had both I wouldn't buy the system I wouldn't buy any new games case in point um, once it was confirmed that you know the X1 and the PS4 was coming out uh, PS4 had gotten The Last of Us I didn't buy it because <clears throat> we was moving on to the next gen Grand Theft Auto 5 I didn't buy that because we was moving on to next gen. Uh, what else did they have? Um, God of War Ascension. Didn't buy that because we was moving on to next gen. So, here it is. <clears throat> We're in the next gen. And there are some people feeling a little salty because, hey, I just purchased this on, you know, the last generation console. And now they want $60 for this and all they're doing is making the resolution higher and making the frame rates higher. And I don't want to buy this game again for $60. Now, maybe they should make it cheaper because then maybe the people who had already purchased it for $60 on their PlayStation 3s or whatever the system may be may upgrade and say you know what let me go ahead and buy this thing again because it's on this PS4 now it's going to be a higher resolution which to me don't make a difference and it's going to have more frames and now I'll be playing with all my friends that's on the PlayStation 4 instead of the 3 now I can understand that but for somebody like me and I know it's a, it's kind of a controversy going on right now with the whole you know you're giving me rehashed games at the same price and there's no way I'm going to buy them it's a little different for me and people like me because like I said I didn't buy them last generation because I knew he was going on to this generation so for me The Last of Us would be a brand new game so am I willing to spend sixty dollars on it yes especially since it has multiplayer am I going to buy um, God of War Ascension yes for the $60 yes because it has multiplayer and it's a brand new game for me um, will I buy Gran Turismo 6 no I had Gran Turismo 6 and that was on the PS3 and I don't care if they sold it for $20 I wouldn't upgrade for to it um, will I buy Gran Turismo 7 sure because that'll be totally brand new and it'll be made from the ground up hopefully so my whole point of this video is for some of us who didn't step into buying these games it would be worth it for us because these games would be brand new for us and that's why I would go ahead and step up and buy these games so I'm pretty sure there's probably still people out there that wouldn't buy the games but anyway that's all I gotta say for today's video and like I always say before Fanboys don't love their system. They just hate yours. Peace out.